Hi guys and welcome again to a new episode from our series called Spin Bits. Now in this episode we would like to discuss play from the small blind which is probably the most difficult position to play from in poker in general and this is no different in spinning goals. Now because of the difficult nature of this subject I will not go too deep into theory and the situations that come up in small blind play but instead give you a few general guidelines that should help you to develop a more, uh, more solid strategy from the small blind. The first issue I would like to point out is min raising. Now, some people still see min raising as a viable option when opening from the small blind, which is something that definitely shouldn't be. Because of the odds the, the big blind is now getting to play a pot in position, he should be flatting with almost everything and he will be able to make our lives extremely difficult. So that means no min raising from the small blind and we should be making it at least 2.5 big blinds. Then playing from the small blind against limbs is another subject to bring up. It can be tempting to raise a lot over limbs with hands that seem strong because they are ahead of the button's limping range. But because we will get called a lot, we will always be out of position and we still have the big blind to worry about. So this is definitely not something we should be doing too wide. Now the better option would very often be to complete after the limper or simply shove all in when stack size and hands allow us. Then um, when folded two in the small blind and we're still three handed our strategy should not rely too much on opening a big amount of hands but more on shoving with more suited hands, all ace x hands, pocket pairs, broadways etc. So in general on this spot we should be very shove heavy instead of trying to open a lot and be out of position too often post flop or just for the rest of the hand. Now I hope uh, this helped you come up with a better strategy from the small blind and to help you win in spin and goes. Now if you do have any questions about strategy in general, about spin and goes in general, please do not hesitate to ask them. You can do it either here on YouTube or just send us a message anywhere else. Um, now make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our next episode which will be about big blind play. And check out our website, spinandgocharts.com, for more free strategy.